Stroke is the fourth leading cause of death in the United States. And when you hear the word, you kind of think that all victims are over, what, like 50? You think that, but strokes can happen to anyone, even a 22-year-old college senior. Channel for Action News anchor Sally Wigan has a cautionary tale for all of us tonight. Yeah, it makes you take stock. It really does, guys. Heather Abramovic will be graduating this year from IUP, graduating in spite of what she sometimes calls a time bomb in her head. A mass of blood vessels that last December began to bleed and caused a stroke. Horseback riding can be a dangerous sport, but for Heather, the real danger could have been ignoring symptoms that followed what she thought was a migraine one night last December. I woke up um, and my entire left side felt like pins and needles and I you know, I googled my symptoms and it came up as a stroke, but I'm thinking I'm 22 years old. She told her mother, who has worked in stroke rehabilitation, but Lynn Abramovic was initially doubtful. After we spoke for a little bit, more and more of what she told me made me think, I better get her to the hospital. But what this patient actually had suffered was a hemorrhage related to a tangle of blood vessels that she has probably had in her brain since she was born. Dr. Jonathan Eng admits that strokes are uncommon in someone Heather's age. They usually happen to people over 50. But he cautions everyone to be aware of the warning signs. If a person who's a young patient can't move their arm or their leg, can't speak appropriately, has a significant confusion that can't be explained, they need to be rushed to a hospital. Dr. Eng says the cavernous malformation in Heather's brain could bleed again. But for now, the risks of removing it outweigh the benefits. And she has his permission to ride. It has helped me in an amazing way. I mean, riding, you need both legs and, you know, your leg, left leg strength and your right leg strength, and it has helped me. And the bond I have with this horse, it's also emotional therapy. You're my best friend. He is Best such friends. a sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. As, as she says, he takes good care of yeah. her. This is, by the way, National Stroke Awareness Month, and there is an easy way to spot stroke symptoms. It's called FAST. F stands for face. One side of the person's face, is it drooping or not? Drooping down. A stands for arm. Can the person raise both arms, or is one arm weak? S is for speech. Is the person's speech slurred or confusing? And T is for time, because time is critical. As the doctor told me, Time is brain that mm. sums it all up. And if you see someone suffering these symptoms, call 911 right away and get them to the hospital. But you have to call 911 right. first. Safe and sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Good. Thank Thanks you, Sally. So.